A favorite of Kampala's growing fashionista circles, the micro mini skirt is no doubt popular among club and party goers. On the streets, they tend to go a little lower, just above the knees. But with some bearing a slit at the back, well, one may be tempted to take a second or even third look. Ethics and Integrity Minister Father Simon Lokoto is of the school of thought that a law should be put in place to control this, in his words, version of pornography. Anything related to indecent dressing, therefore exposing certain parts of the anatomy of a person, all right? I call it, I call it pornographic and therefore uh, condemned. On the basis of one's freedom to dress in what they wished provided they are comfortable, the minister, formerly a man of the cloth, argues that people are not films that can be watched by all and sundry. So I don't like this question of saying human rights, uh, maturity, etc. That is not, not correct. We are free in the limitations of not interfering with the freedom of others. Because when you go indecently on the street of Kampala, you will become, what will you become? A cinema. That means there's something strange and out of place. That's why everybody is admiring and looking at you. He may claim to have the backing of a huge percentage of parliament. 90% of the members of parliament are very concerned and they want this bill passed yesterday. But what do MPs have to say about the minister's proposal? I think our people have got better issues to deal with than issues of scars and so on. I mean, tried. I mean, it was there, I think, during Amin's time. Those are issues of morals. I'm not allowed to portray personal views. I'm supposed to represent the views of uh, my people. Just like about the Amin's cut, if I thought it has been added within the bill, we may have to ask the public. The ethics minister, Father Simon Lokodo, equates the Amin's cut phenomenon to pornography. Well, I spoke to one lady and she says, he will have to first work on the minds of a man in order to have this problem half solved. Everything bad begins from the mind. So really, let him first work on the minds of men and then come talk about maybe fashion because I don't think mini skirts and mini dresses are trendy and we have a right to fashion, you know. Other members of the public reacted variedly on the subject, ranging from the size of the mini skirt wearer, the length of the garment and the time in which it's worn. If like they're saying, some big mamas are not supposed to put on mini skirts, mini skirts are made for some, some small girls like me, I think it's okay. But for our big ladies, I think it's not okay. The size matters, you know. If it's micro, if it's micro mini, if it's a micro mini skirt, then uh, I think they should question that. But then, if you're going out, you know, you it's at night, it's okay. But during the day, I don't fancy that. Some lawmakers say the bill's definition of pornography is too broad and goes against Uganda's tradition of being tolerant of cultural diversity. But the good father is having none of this and won't scratch his head on this one, saying the bill is destined to pass. Say what you want to say, but we are coming up with a law that people should go back to their you know, decent way of covering their bodies. Backed by the Deputy Attorney General, Fred Ruhindi, the bill, if passed, will have those found guilty face a fine of 10 million shillings or 7 to 15 years behind bars. Gabriel Epenu, NTV.